Boys and girls, welcome to the Big Red Beard Show. I'm your host, Coop Cheese, and this is the Big Red Beard. And um, I'm going to be playing a game called Rodea the Sky Soldier. A fast-paced 3D action-adventure platformer whose primary focus is on flight and targeting. Trailers made it look really cool. In fact, uh, the game developers, which is NIS America, um, they felt it, that it was so good to include two copies of the game. That's right, a Wii U version, and the original Wii version that it was supposed to come out as, but never did. For all you fans who need to play this game in standard definition, that's what this is for, apparently. Because I can't imagine why the uh, gameplay uh, would be any different. Because apparently it's the exact same game. And so is the one on the 3DS. And I've already played a little bit of it, and I am... <laughs> How should I say it? Unfulfilled! It's not a good Wii U game. A good Wii game? Definitely. Definitely. Absolutely. Might as well get it for the 3DS. And that one comes with the soundtrack. No, this this one's like, oh, no, you get the same game twice. You get the same game twice. You get the same game twice. Tell you the truth, I like the artwork better on the, the original disc. Whatever, we're going to play it, and you're going to like it. Rodea, the Sky Soldier. Push any button. Okay, a new game, a new adventure. Promise engraved on my heart. I will protect Garuda. Oh my God! Is it Shadow? Please. Shadow the Hedgehog? Makes sense to me. Oh no! Princess Cecilia. Prologue. Flames of Remembrance. Just like any good anime, you gotta have that uh, special dialogue, just just in case you can't read, you know? Princess Cecilia, did they get to you? I have to protect her. The key of time. Oi, let's watch the lip sync, okay? Thank you. Things are heating up in the sky. Let's stay on the ground for now. Uh, okay. So now we're learning how to move. Cool. Move to the really big glowing thing. I love how everything is so obviously just polygonal. Really low textures. Mmm. Beautiful. Looks like the battle in the sky is finished. I can head up there now. I should jump and enter pre-flight mode to make sure things are safe. I gotta make sure it's safe first. I oh, gotta make sure it's safe first to fly. I should jump and enter pre-flight mode to make sure things are safe. All right, let's learn how to do pre-flight. Okay. I gotta make sure it's safe first. Ah, uh, oh, I put push a button. I should jump and enter pre-flight mode to make sure- So basically, double jump. <gasps> Gotta make sure it's safe first. I should jump and enter pre-flight mode to make sure- SHUT UP! To make sure SHUT UP! SHUT UP! <laughs> 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 
Safety confirmed. Okay. Exiting pre-flight mode. Entering flight mode. Do I have to do this every time? During pre-flight, aim the reticle at your destination and press jump. Okay. Princess Cecilia should be where the rainbow marker is. Uh-huh. The controls appear to not care if you use the Wiimote or the gamepad, so I might as well use the gamepad. Oh! Look at that low frame rate. Mmm. Beautiful. The gauge around the mm -hmm. reticle is the flight energy indicator. Okay. It will be gradually consumed during flight, so be careful. Sure. Flight energy can be restored by landing or by obtaining gravitons. Okay. If I'm out of flight energy, I can use gravitons as fuel in a pinch. Sure. The number at the bottom left is my graviton supply. All right. But they're not very fuel efficient, so be careful with them. Uh, it makes sense. I guess. <sighs> Alright, so A is to jump. And then to get into flight mode, you hit the same button again, and you kind of use the left trigger, I'm guessing, to move around, because you didn't really get to use the tablet to move it. Hardly any motion control involved. More enemies? I haven't even faced a single enemy, and you're already My irritated. Armor energy at the lower left will decrease as I receive damage. Mm -hmm. Don't let it run out, or I'll earn a miss. Don't forget to do your part, kids, or I'm going to lose, and I'm the hero. This has not been established. My spare parts are to the lower left. If they run out, game over. Spare parts? Remember, 100 Gravitons will restore one of these spares. Uh-huh. Let's get rid of these enemies and keep going. Use a boost Use attack. Use a boost attack, which I'm guessing is the same thing as I used as a... Pre-flight mode while flying. Pre-flight. Use the attack button to do a... Mm -hmm. to enemy and fly. I did that with the coins. Good. I really wish I had, like, some sort of motion control. Wait. Using a boost B is boost attack. So be careful. Derp. Even if the reticle is slightly off target, auto-aim will correct it. Don't stop. Keep going. After a boost attack, you can press the another boost attack. But this drains flight energy, so be careful. Okay. Ugh, it's just it's so ugly. No, what what the what the going on? Okay, the path is clear. Okay. Marker is my next destination. Oh man, the camera. This is not a good camera. Head towards the rainbow marker. Uh uh, excuse me. A button jumps, right? Okay, here... There is a half a second delay after I actually push the button. He doesn't jump on the button push. It's... wow. There's a half... there's a split sec... Let me put it this way. Touch. Touch. I... It's bad. It's really bad. Now, let's talk about charging. Okay. It's good for flying to specific spots. Mm. Hold down the jump button, and I'll immediately start to charge. Okay. Move the reticle to select a target, then release the button to fly. Sure. But be careful. There's a limit to how long I can hold a charge. Mm. Is that... it is! 
Princess Cecilia! Oh, we have an end goal. All right, just a little more to go. And uh, they're not going to tell you, but the thing at the top we right tells you where you need to go. Da -da -da. Ah! Ay, ay, ay. What am I doing? I don't even know. Alright, if I push the B button while Rodea is on the ground, he will execute a quick attack. Okay. Destroy the debris in front of the door. Let's break it up. Um, using buttons. One attack won't do anything. I'll just have to keep attacking. Well, what am I using to attack? A little more to go. There's B. Wow, that was some really low tech drink. No, I don't. I don't want to be flying. What the hell? Am I playing on the N64? What is this shit? Look at this. This is some N64 shit. This is not even. This is. This is a full title for the Wii U. What is this nonsense? Look at this! Look at this! What? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I broke it. Princess Cecilia! The key of time. I managed to retrieve it. We gotta get your help. The Emperor of Naga. He intends to use this to invade Garuda. <coughs> Princess, please save your strength. I don't think they're gonna let us get away. That may be. But you can still escape. Huh? What are you saying? I'm... I'm not just gonna leave you here. What are you saying? Please take this half. Unless left intact, the key of time will not work. Okay. We will escape this place, but not together. But what? I don't want to be alone. Uh, that's very selfish. Order. I'd say, like, you shouldn't be alone. You know, I'm not some unfeeling robot. I have a heart like you. The heart that you gave me, Princess. I won't do it. I won't follow that order. Thank you. But you are not so alone, Rodea. And I promise you, we will save Garuda together. Farewell, Rodea. He's not the droid you're looking for. But that. So. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. So now we get to read our narration. That's cool. 1,000 years ago. The terrestrial civilization known as the Naga Empire faced a severe energy crisis. As the Empire's demise drew near, Emperor Gerardo discovered a new energy source located in Garuda, a floating continent in the sky. Coveting Garuda's energy, Emperor Gerardo prepared an invasion to be launched when the two continents overlap, which occurs only once every 1,000 years. Princess Cecilia, daughter of Gerudo, what Gerudo. Gerardo was destroyed. Was... No, ma'am, I didn't hear the question. I guess there was an airplane flying over or something. 
Sorry to Garuda to move down to move out of harm's reach as soon as possible. Never ever planned to use an ancient artifact known as the king attempt to create the gate that would connect the two continents when the princess Cecilia learned her father's plan. She and her loyal bodyguard Rodea took the key of time and fled, eluding capture. The two almost made it to Garuda, but Garuda's forces managed to intercept them. Undeterred, Princess Cecilia gave half the key of time to Rodea and sent her into the distant land of Garuda. And so, 1,000 years later, in a world that happens 1,000 years later, is the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I can't believe I'm actually going to go through with this. Hey, next time I cook Jay's place, or Dea Sky Soldier. I got him working! Alright! Hey, can you hear my voice? Hey you! Thanks for watching! Regardless of whether you liked what you saw or not, I congratulate you and encourage you to leave a comment. Seriously, I'd like to know what you think. But by chance you do like what you see, I implore thee to check out some of the other videos on the channel. Like for example my series on Sonic the Hedgehog, or my co-op series Two Friends in a Projector. And I've even collaborated with another Let's Player. DuckNuck84, for a mini-series on the Dungeons & Dragons game, The Tower of Doom. Once again, thanks for watching, and come back soon.